men who trust power or the government tend to have short life expectancies. Eric Broussard, a fictional character from the series Colony we've talked about before, actor Tori Kittles, basically summed up the attitude of Floridians right now in one sentence. Now we're going to get into this and what it has to do with the hurricane and show some proprietary pictures that you haven't seen anywhere else of some of the damage. Now here in Flagler County, we have been amongst the luckiest and the most blessed. So thank you to all of you who have sent your prayers. Also, everyone who has joined us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, God bless every one of you. Thank you so much for stepping up and making the difference because you really have. Every single one of you. It starts at the base level, one US dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. There's four levels, one, five, 10, and 15. Those of you who have stepped up at the 10 and 15 dollar levels, as well as, as those of you who have stepped up at the five, the need to know level. God bless every one of you. Seriously, you have made a huge, huge, impactful difference in my life. The last few years we have been doing these videos. What's the difference between these videos and the ones here on YouTube? Well, we take the gloves off over Patreon. Little speed bump allows us to do that. There's no other way around it. But this video is going to have directly to do with censorship. Now, quick poll. Quick poll. If you had a choice between believing what Marjorie Taylor Greene said or believing what Joe Biden said, everything else being equal, who would you believe? Marjorie Taylor Greene or Joe Biden? Joe Biden or Marjorie Taylor Greene? Joe Biden or Marjorie Taylor Greene. Joe Biden and FEMA. Or Marjorie Taylor Greene and Donald Trump. Who would you believe? And why? Now, what does this have to do with anything going on? Marjorie Taylor Greene came out and said, they can control the weather. Joe Biden came out and said, that's a bunch of ridiculous hooey. So now we have two people. We have two people, opposite sides of the spectrum, and you have to choose both things can't be true. Both things can't be true. So who are you going to believe? You see, this is the problem with the federal government. When we know factually, facts first, all you fact checkers out there, when we know factually the U.S. government in Washington, D.C., has spent the last hundred years or so lying to us, provably lying to us, about a laundry list of issues, it is very, very difficult to say, okay, we're going we're gonna to believe what the president said and not what Marjorie Taylor Greene said. You see, this is the issue. Now, real quick, real quick. Back fence got, you know, victim of the wind. And some of you are probably looking at these pictures and going, wait a minute, hold on, that, that looks a little weird. Why, why did that fence all fall down in one or two pieces? That's how I designed it. Because when that wind gets kicked up like that, any little piece, now a few, few pieces got popped off here, but generally speaking, the vast majority of the fence all came down all together as one big heavy, sopping wet piece of wood that was going to stay, stay right where it was until the storm passed and it wasn't going to become a thousand different little projectiles. Now, once again, a few little ones over here. Um, we'll reinforce those, but anyway, just wanted to show you this picture. But let's get right to it. Who are you going to believe? Right now, she has more credibility. She has more credibility. Why? I'm not even going to say the words because just saying the words will get the video demonetized. Factually provable lie. Factually provable a lie. 14 days to stop the what? How many jabs to lose your job? What? Keep your job, lose your job, whatever. Some of you older folks might remember this lie. WMD 
9-11, how many times do they have to lie before people just say, you know what, I don't care what they say, I know they're lying. And I'll tell you what, I know this is, you know, going to be a little bit redundant, but because I've said it before and people know where I stand, it wouldn't even be close right now. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say the quiet part out loud. If this was the guy right now, especially seeing the leadership, the true actual leadership through these issues that we've had in Florida, it wouldn't even be close. Nobody would be talking about 50-50 swing states anywhere right now. They would be talking about how badly Kamala Harris was going to lose this election. Is it going to be 10-point loss, 8-point loss, 12-point loss? There would be no swing states. Do you see how easily he dismissed her when she decided to make up some make-believe story about him not taking phone calls from her? How easily he dismissed her? He came out and just said, you know what? She has no role. I've had conversations with the actual president of the United States, Joe Biden, and that's the end of it. And whatever he and I talked about, that's our business. Men are talking. I know a lot of ladies are like, oh, I can't believe you said that. How many of you remember way back when, when men were talking? He didn't interrupt them. And he went out about his business. This is the hallmark of real and true leadership. He wouldn't give a crap what she said. He has a record, an actual record to stand on here in Florida. And funny thing is, I don't see anybody leaving. Hurricane 1, Hurricane 2, Hurricane 3. Haven't heard anybody say, that's it, I'm leaving. This state's trash. Uh, they're pulling together. Everybody's taking care of everybody else. Everybody's linking arms. All sorts of stories of this all over the state. And I know people have varying opinions on this. 170-something reports of tornadoes never happened before. Never happened before in the history of ever, regardless of the size of the hurricane. 170-something Reports, or more maybe now, of tornadoes. I know tornadoes come with hurricanes, and I remember a lot of hurricane coverage. I've lost track of how many have come and gone, whether it was Louisiana, whether it was Texas, whether it was Florida, or the Carolinas. I do not remember one single time there being hundreds of reports of the vast majority of the damage being caused by, and loss of life, by tornadoes. It's surreal. So once again, those of you who were confused about the poll questions, the person on the right, Marjorie Taylor Greene, says ABC is true. Doesn't matter what the topic is. Joe Biden person on the left says that bah, a bunch of hooey. XYZ is actually true. ABC is totally false. Pick any topic you want and fill in ABC and XYZ. Who are you going to believe? Joe Biden or Marjorie Taylor Greene? Joe Biden or Marjorie Taylor Greene? FEMA and Joe Biden and you need F-15s and nukes? Or Marjorie Taylor Greene and Donald Trump? Who are you going to believe? Who? See, this is what happens. This is what happens when the government lies and lies and lies. And I'm sure there's all down in the comments, there are going to be all sorts of folks who said, you, you forgot they lied about this, you forgot they lied about that. I had to choose a few. Didn't forget I mean, you can just go right down the list of everything they've lied about. And 
preceding my entire life. You can one day, well, you know what? I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for the Patreon channel. I'm not even going to open my mouth about it. We're going to do an adult uncensored version of this video over at the Patreon channel. And like I said, and I've always said before, you go over there, you sign up, you make your pledge. You've got 90 days. You've got 90 days. 10th of January. It is now what? 10th of October? October? November? December? 10th of January. You can watch videos. Hundreds of never before seen videos. And if at that point, you're like, you know what? Eh, McKee, you're full of hooey. I want my money back. Not a problem. Day 89, not a problem. Not a problem. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually a rolling 90 days too. So even if it was after 90 days, it would only be the previous. So I will leave it there. But once again, men who trust power tend to have short life expectancies. Well said, Eric Broussard, Tory Kittles, series called Colony. It's not called The Colony. That's a completely different movie, different series. It's just called Colony. Three seasons. It was on sci-fi. I know it's about alien invasion, but there is so much great survival content in it. Watch the series. So, I will leave it there. Once again, join us for the adult version of this video. I think it's probably going to be something you'll be a little bit more interested in. I've had to kind of censor myself over here on YouTube just to stay alive, but God bless every single one of you that signed up. Unit commanders, brigade commanders need to know base level. Every single one of you all pulling together. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Pray for those who've lost their lives and their family. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.